What's going on guys? This is Crimson Thief with another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Last we left off, we did the final errand for Pericles and now we're going to his home to yeah, continue on with the main storyline. Whoa, almost got detected there. Oh. Cassandra, it's you. Wait, what? Phoebe. You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. What's Phoebe I doing over here? I also said, stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. Hmm. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. Whoa. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. Who's that? How ever... is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. Whoops. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. Hmm. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Yeah, we gotta Thomas, agree. you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I don't want to get everyone mad as a first impression. I feel uncomfortable in this. <laughs> now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It <laughs> is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Mm. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. I almost heard like the mercenary noise is what so. Why would blending in help me be able to talk to them easier? I feel like it'd be the opposite. They would respect me more by being myself. That's eh, okay. Here, Cassandra, the mighty mercenary and traveler has this. finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no this is your problem fault. I was late. when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him oh, he's not so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. <laughs> Whatever. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. 
two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> uh. It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Ermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Oh. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. <laughs> and the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Trasimachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. <laughs> but the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, oh. always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a she time for jealousy, but for love. Whoa. Oh, okay then. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. Whoops. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you Whoa. think of a party like this? He's, he seems interesting. Parties aren't my specialty. Yeah. This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people Ooh. are so... Clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Irodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. All right, let's investigate. All right. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? <laughs> A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. Uh, for a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every Pidis likes to say. Don't you, every Pidis? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. 
Ugh. Assassinating you the first chance I get. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. Uh, that wasn't a fight. I'm looking for clues. You're rich, arrogant ass. Oh. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. Yikes. You could talk to every Pedis. Arrogant douche. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Can I kill him? So you want me to make a scene? Let's get Fordonius drunk. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You yeah. need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor Ugh. to every Pidis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. <laughs> you're awfully worked up over every Pidis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Ugh. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Oh, sorry. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your dry wine. I'm here for sweet. I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Dang. Calm down. Ooh, he really enjoys sweet wine. Can I take both? All of them. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> God, this guy. I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. Why don't you help me first? Ooh, a drinking competition. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. Oh, that's and not gonna work. It gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, yeah. shall we? Yeah, I gotta get him drunk first. Uh, we gotta ask, we gotta drink first before we can ask this question. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Yeah! Yeah! I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more! Alright, one more. You ready for another? 
He sounds a little chatty now already. Oh! Mine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates <laughs> in Argos. Here I come. Okay. Well, we found out where we need to go. Um, but how do we get over here? Oh, sorry. What the? Is this guy doing Someone's a goat? Being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh. Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. Ugh. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. Where you found out I think she? I'll check all the same. You have enough servants. Get them to do it. Shame. If you change your mind, I promise to pour the oil on you and lick it off. I'm okay. I'm kind of a creep. Oh. All right. uh, oh, or do I have to do it? Crap, I'm gonna have to. Let me talk to this guy. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. Ooh. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Alright, so it looks like I have to do... give that guy oil. Ugh. Alright. I was just about to come find you. Clearly, you were thinking the same thing I was. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> we're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... Join us. Now, it's time for you to help <laughs> me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. 
fled Sparta. No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Must mean the priority. The Adera. I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. All right. Oh, oops. It's done here. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. What? I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Aspasia. Oh. That was a creepy smile. Well, that was awkward. She wasn't even looking when you bowed. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Mega race. Man, I never get what I did there. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. 
We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirimi, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. Mm. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Hmm. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. All right, actually, looking at the time, I think we're going to end this one here. But if you enjoyed this party, don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it would be awesome if you would. And we're going to see, talk to, finally, we can talk to Pericles when, in the next episode. And as always, have a great day.